Hey, what's going on, brew tubers? Um, cheers, all that stuff. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, just some quick um, uh, equipment updates that I got. Uh, hop updates um, and uh, a little tip that uh, I'm sure is on YouTube, but I got from the I got from a uh, from the guy at my homebrew shop. So. Um, First one up is I got one of these bad boys, a refractometer. Um, it, uh, it I actually tried it this brew day, and uh, it turned out and, and it works. It works fine. It works perfect. I calibrated it. Uh, actually, I actually didn't need to calibrate it, um, but I you know I I went through the process to ca calibrate it, and. Um, it um, it already came pretty much calibrated. Uh, you calibrate it with some uh, uh, distilled water, and uh, everything you know zeroed out perfectly. I didn't even need to change anything around. The cool thing about this one is it has the bricks. It has the bricks and the original gravity. Um, so that's cool. Uh, and it came with. Little pop it here. You just pull the wart out, uh, put it two or three, probably three drops here uh, on, on here. Open it up, bam, bam, bam. Close it up, make sure uh, there's no air bubbles, and uh, hold it up in some kind of sunlight. And uh, it reads uh, in bricks and also uh, the original gravity here, or specific gravity, I should say. Um, and you, some people say you can't use them after the uh, 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 the beer has fermented, but you actually can. There's um, after when you're about to bottle or keg or whatever, you just there's a calculator in Brew Smith and also some available online. Uh, next up, I got a box, thirty of these. Um, these are called baby soda bottles. I got thirty of these. Uh, and they look, what do they look like? Do they remind you of something, maybe? Huh? Maybe of the White Labs? Um, the White Labs bottle. These are, these are a little bit longer. If I can kind of size it up here. They're a little bit longer. They're about the si They're about the same size as uh, the White Labs with the cap on. Actually, no, they're about the same size. Hmm. These are thinner, though. So... I went ahead and washed the yeast that I had in the bottles. Yeah, so they're the same height, they're just thinner. Um, I went ahead and washed the yeast that I had in my jars there because they were just taking up way too much space. So I only have one fridge now. And because they're thinner, um, obviously this isn't the best example because um, I put too much of it. But they actually uh, change with... Um, they come with like orange caps, but... Um, on the website, it says that they'll just pretty much whoever whoever packs your order, they'll just grab a bag of fucking caps and just throw them in the order. You don't really get to pick, um, but they're you know they're safe, they're they're leak proof, um, they fit. The guy at my guy at the home shop gave me the White Labs uh, holder, I guess that he gets the White Labs vials in. <laughs> He had some, I asked him, he gave them to me. Um, there's a little too much yeast in here, so, um, but I'll uh, calculate that when I go to brew. So, I went ahead and labeled them there. That way I have yeast that I washed and uh, organized in a more organized fashion. Um, also, what I picked up at the homebrew shop is... Uh, one of these bad boys. I don't want to call them bad boys. Just a freaking a number two stopper. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys here in a second what we're gonna do with it. All right, guys. I'm over here in my washroom. I went ahead and moved this fridge that I had into the washroom because it was just the ISO kind of in the man space. So, I'm taking my number two stopper here. God damn it. Number two stopper. Uh, I'm going to take the um, the bottling um, 
bottling wand that came with you know pretty much everybody's home brew kit when they first get one uh, you go ahead and take the bottom off and you cut it at almost a 45 degree angle because you don't want it flat uh, when you're uh, when you're uh, I'm sure you guys had a freaking bottle from the uh, the kegs here without buying an expensive hundred dollar beer gun hundred plus because uh, you can buy all the lines that go with it now what you want to do is pretty much uh, the best way to do it is to freeze your uh, bottles or keep your bottles cold when you do it that way you get like uh, you get just less just less foam is uh, you're gonna take your number two stopper here move it up and what's gonna happen is when you put your number two stopper make sure it's hitting the bottom and then slide the stopper in there uh, to uh, prevent air from coming out all right that's what's gonna happen so what we're gonna do now make sure you got a rag or something down because it's still gonna get messy who knows all right so what you want to do is release all uh, the pressure on both of your kegs or or the keg that you're gonna the beer that you're gonna bottle I already did that off camera let me see if there's any air left yeah just a little bit all right I'm actually gonna do my uh, oatmeal stout first I'm gonna take this out and then you want to set, now this should be, depending on when you let the air out, maybe enough pressure to, uh, you know, get beer through the line. But uh, if not, go ahead and make sure you, your pressure's all the way down on your, uh, on your keg and on your regulator here. And what we're going to do is uh, only set it to probably about maybe, maybe 2 or 3 PSI. I found works I found works best. Um, so, turn the air on here. Maybe two or three psi works best. That way you get this foam. Well, this is my stout, so I barely need. I just want to make sure it's carbonated when I uh, when I go. All right. Especially uh, if you don't have if you have your beer on. Um, uh, you know, with faucets or whatever, it's gonna be a little tough. Just make, everybody pretty much has a picnic tap. If you don't, they're pretty cheap. You just insert the flat end, the one that's not gonna go in the bottle, at the end of your picnic tap. And then what you're gonna do is insert it. Make sure it's touching the bottom. Try to, if you can, try to angle the, uh, you know, the side that's cut way more and what you want to do is fill it now I don't know if you guys can hear this air air being uh, filled up here and as it starts to slow down in the bottle you want to uh, release some pressure It's always gonna foam up. But I've tried and it just seems like it always foams up. Alright. So once you got that going, pretty much as soon as it's uh it's full, it should be more ready. Just take your cap. Just take your caps and put it directly on right away as soon as you can on top. Go ahead and secure that bottle. All right. So here you go. Foam to the top. That foam on top, and this freaking light is killing me. But this foam on top is pretty much what you want. See that foam on top of there? So it keeps some carbonation in there. So that's one. Let's see if I can pause this machine here. I should have done it in the first place. Let me grab another bottle from uh, the old fridge here. I did not peel the labels off. I'm sorry. All right. Then we 
Let's get our cap ready. Hopefully it's quiet enough for you guys to hear now. Insert it all the way down. Start to fill her up. I fill up slow, but it's better than uh, so you got it up there. Got some foam on top. And boom, that's it. We need to, let's see if I can take some of this freaking thing off here. Uh yeah, but so you guys can see this is a probably uh, the cheap get alternative way to uh, bottle from the keg without buying that expensive ass Blickman beer gun. Say, I brewed um, my black IPA again. Let me see if I can take you guys there. She, she is. I did that on Saturday night, so it's going a lot stronger than that. It's just coming too, but the smell, oh my goodness. I changed the hops up from last time, so uh, I expected maybe to get more pop from the hops this time around. Um, for those that I sent um, my black IPA to last time, uh, the recipes stayed the same, but the hops changed. Um, so, depending on how it turns out, I'm gonna let you guys know how that goes. And uh, that's all I got. Cheers, happy homebrew Wednesday.